It's Monday, and I don't know about you, but there's often times on a Monday I need some strategies to help get me through the day with getting back into work and emails and phone calls and all those things to catch up on on a Monday. So I thought I'd pop on and share one that I like to use for myself and one that I often um, share with my clients, and I think it's a really uh, useful one. Um, it's called Happening, and uh, it's a psychosensor therapy cr um, created by Dr. Ronald Rudden, um, and it invo involves touch. You can add eye movement to it. It's good for distraction. It's good for soothing. Um, it helps with anxiety and stress, um, helps calm you, uh, and so many more things. It also, um, interestingly enough, helps to create new um, neural pathways in the brain. So ideally find a quiet spot. Um, sometimes that's not always possible, but if you can, that's a great thing to do. Um, and there's different ways around this that you can do. You can get on YouTube and find lots of different practitioners who use all sorts of different methods. Um, and I always say, experiment, find the one that works for you. So I will go through a little bit of the basics and, and show you where you can add in things. So um, oftentimes I'll have a, have myself or a client, you know, kind of check in and say, okay, on a scale of one to 10, my stress level's like, hmm, about an eight. And so keep that in mind. So first you cross your arms and um, you really move your arms, some like petting yourself and down. Um, and so oftentimes I'll say to do this, oh, about 10 times. Um, now to this that you can do, you can add, um, you can add eye movement. So you can look to the left and to the right and to the left as you're thinking about a situation. Um, you don't have to, you can. You can also add breathing to it. Um, and so the breathing can be anything from counting backwards. So 10, nine, eight, seven, and so forth. Or you can do a breathe in and a breathe out. So go in the count breath, one, two, three, and breathe out, five. One, two, three, four, five. The next time in, you can breathe in, four, two, three, four, and out, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so you can continue just that, or um, often I'll have clients add in um, hand happening. So um, how many times do people wring their hands and don't realize that they're actually helping calm their nervous system too? So you can apply the same thing. You can use your eyes. You can use your breath. I like to give this one to clients who might be headed into a meeting with something and know that stress levels might be a little high. And so this is something you can do and people aren't like, what the heck are you doing? Um, so this is a little bit less under the radar. Um, and there's another one that you can use. Um, it's not, you won't find it necessarily in the videos, but there was a study done on infants and it was done um, while they were in mom's tummy. And they noticed that when mom was going through um, times of high anxiety, babies would stroke their own face, um, primarily on the left side, they're not quite sure why, but um, they noticed that this can have a real calming effect. So um, I will ask clients and myself, you know, sometimes to add that face in. And again, you can use your eyes, you can, um, you can even sing a song that brings you calm, you can think of a place that's calming for you or brings you joy. Um, and so you can repeat all of these um, in a sequence. Um, you can do, you know, if you're counter, you can say, okay, I'll do 10 of these, and then I'll do 10 of these, and then I'll do 10 of these. And then what I ask is just to go back and rate that stress level that you were at again. And if it's still pretty high, um, you know, go through it, go through it again um, until you feel that sense of calm come about you. So tell me what you think of it. 
experiment with it. Tell me what works for you. Uh, and yeah, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you.